There you go. Look, anyone who knows me will not be at all surprised that I've bought another boat. The other thing no one will find surprising is the fact that it's a small boat. Because there's something that I've always enjoyed doing, which is catching fish out of small boats. In fact, I think the smaller the boat, the bigger the challenge. And what I've done is, I'm fairly sure I've created, and I own, potentially, the most versatile boat you could possibly have under three and a half metres. In fact, I'm so confident, I'd put the challenge out to anyone to find one that's more versatile than this. Now, this is a boat that doesn't need any introduction. It's had an upgrade due to past, past things that didn't make it the most ideal fishing weapon. Still great, but not perfect. But now, it is the ultimate fishing platform under three and a half meters. So look, let's jump into it. I'm gonna run you through why I chose this particular boat, and more importantly, how I've set it up. Let's go. Before we kick this off any further, I do have to say a massive thank you to Boat City in Belcatta. I had a lot of questions that needed answering and they got answered pretty quick. Anthony, when it comes to this kind of stuff, is an absolute guru on these boats. He knows them inside and out. Also, Steve from Polycraft, when I've sent him some messages over Facebook and on the, on the Tough Tender forums, he's been magnificent, always happy to answer some questions. So here it is, the three meter Polycraft Tuffy. Now I know you're wondering, hey, these have probably been around for a long time. Well, they kind of have. See, the previous model was the three meter Tough Tender, where don't get this confused with it because this is the Tuffy. And there's a huge amount of upgrades that they've done that have made this so much better. Now you may think, all right, well, what do you know about the old one? Well, I actually owned one, believe it or not, well, actually, it's very believable because I've owned a lot of boats and I sold it very quickly. I sold the old one quickly because it simply didn't do what I needed it to do. There was problems with bow spray. There was problems with having to get your outboard jack completely perfectly. You had to um, run hydrofoils on your outboard. You had to have weight distribution pretty much perfect. You don't have to do this with this because this has a new hull shape. Now, what have I done to make this polycraft my own and also a versatile fishing platform that creates well i hope one day great media content for you guys this is what i've done okay so starting from the front let's start here with the water snake okay so this is a shadow mark 2 44 pound thrust now this particular water snake here is all you need for this boat in fact i run this on probably number two or three and it goes really well. Now, Railblazer really is the only product I think I'd put on this boat. Their mounts are fantastic. Everything's great, but that's gonna be another video. I've got two Arlock 600 booms, one at the front, one at the back, to position the cameras wherever I need them. We'll come down here, 10 litre Yamaha fuel tank, small little battery box, which houses um, a little 20 amp battery. We've got 
the Yamaha 15 four stroke down the back. We've got a lot more mounts all around the boat there for um, like my rod holders and so forth. We've got beautiful hatches here, which I'm gonna open up for you right now and show you. And of course, above all else, we're running Garmin electronics. Now, why am I running Garmin? Because simply lately, that is the best stuff. The little Yami 15 four stroke needs absolutely no introduction. I mean, we're talking an industry leading outboard um, that, pretend, that honestly no other manufacturer in my eyes comes close to. Yes, they're heavy. Don't get me wrong. They're probably one of the heavier in the market. But am I prepared to, you know, trade off five kilos for reliability? Of course, because this is what gets me home every night. Now, with this particular outboard, we're getting 21 knots wide open throttle without jacking it yet and with running it on the second or third pin. So it's not even trimmed out fully. But what I do find by running it this way is quick on the plane uh, and it gets me out of trouble quick. Now we come down to here. Now here's the Garmin. Um, we're, we're, we know we're, we're right in the shallow stuff at the moment, so it's reading like, yeah, don't worry about that. Forget about it. But no, great little sounder, uh, GPS down scan the whole lot. Now let's get to these little hatches. You can't go wrong with these hatches now. These hatches are fantastic. They're inbuilt sealed hatches, so nothing gets wet. They really are great. We come up the front. And as you can see, we've got plenty of storage in there, DJI minis in there, all my GoPro stuff, tripod, as well as a battery and so forth. I've got little stuff like this here, which is just a little organizer, which helps me out a lot. And I mean, as you can see, the way the Polycraft Tuffy set up now, there's just a lot of free open space. We've got non-slip decks, which I think are great. We've got nice ruler, everything we need. Now here's where the hull, has changed let's have a look down there look at that flared beautiful bow rather than having those two stupid pontoons either way now there are some cons of the boat which is you are limited it's a three meter boat you can you, you've got limitations out in the ocean and so forth um but i mean apart from that it is what it is you don't buy a three meter boat wanting to go out miles and miles and miles. This boat here suits anyone who's on a budget. We've already chased snapper successfully out of this. Um, a lot of inshore species, squid, brim, um, almost anything you want, and it's about to embark on a trip north. And that's certainly gonna be an exciting one. Now, would I suggest that this is a boat for someone who wants to purely target blue water stuff? Absolutely not. Don't do it. This is an all round small fishing boat that is most suited to estuaries. If you're confident you can push it, otherwise, you know, be a little careful and always keep in the back of your mind safety above all else. All in all, the Tuffy I think is a fantastic boat. Is it something I'd buy? Yeah, absolutely again. I would buy this again in a heartbeat. I mean, we're talking a boat um, that, that we, we bought from Boat City in Belcatta, Perth, Western Australia. And this whole setup cost, I think it was just under eight odd thousand dollars. This, that's including your trailer and so forth as well. Now we've put this on a Dumbia fold-up trailer because it does, it does live a bit of a life on top of a camper van. So the Dumbia fold-up trailer does need to go inside the camper. Um, once again, we probably couldn't have done it without the help of Boat City. Boat City was fantastic. They really did help us tailor this boat. Um, we, we had a few questions, which Anthony and um, Graham and so forth quick, quickly helped out with, and they were absolutely brilliant. Look guys, I'd highly suggest if you know someone with this kind of boat, get on it and have a look. Now, let's get back to fishing because I, I, th I think, look at the day, it's beautiful. We need to get back into it and we're gonna catch you on the next one. See you later. Yep, there he is. So this was only probably third cast of the day. We've already got ourselves a little brim. He's not huge. Ugh. But there he is inside the boat. And of all things, we've pinned him through the top of the nose. Oh no, he's everywhere. Bloody amateur hour. But there he is. A lovely little brim at 29 
tip length. There he goes, back in. Well, we'll get on to the next one.